State transportation officials indicating this afternoon they still don't know why the bridge is sagging or how long it will take to repair it. However, we do know more specifically uh, how much it sagged. Fox 11's Ben Krummeltz is with us. And Ben, you were at this afternoon's briefing. What's new? Well, Tom, the most important update is officials say the Leo Frigo Bridge is stable. They've been taking readings every six hours now, and they say the pier in question hasn't moved any farther. Now, Pier 22 is the one officials say settled at some point overnight Tuesday going into Wednesday. Today, they said the pier settled 22 inches at the north end and 27 inches at its southern end. About six employees from the Federal Highway Administration are inspecting the bridge. The FHA has made all of its resources available to find out what happened. They're teaming with state, regional, and local engineers. DOT officials say they still, there still is not a timetable for when the situation will move from the inspecting stage to some sort of other action. However, officials say they won't rush the process. There's no question that there's a sense of urgency. And we don't want to, we want to do the job right, but we don't want to spend a lot of time trying to figure this out, but we're going to do what we have to do. Based on what we're seeing over time, we're not seeing any movement, so you know we're, we're pretty confident at this time that it's stable. DOT officials still don't know if federal or state money will pay for the repairs. They also said another update probably won't come until next week. For now, we're reporting live in Green Bay, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News.